Hello friend, it's my pleasure to welcome you to my channel Z Graphics and Multimedia and in this video you are going to learn how to make this sample flower in color raw step by step tutorial. But before I dive into the tutorial, if you are new to this channel, please remember to hit on the subscribe. So with that being said, so let's get started. First thing to do is to go to your tools bar right here, make sure you choose your circle. Then you can press Ctrl key down to draw your perfect circle. You can press P to centralize. You can always come to the home tab right here to control your circle radius and uh, for the weight you type in 800 then for the height you type in 800 or so then you press enter key on your keyboard so you're going to have a stuff like this so next thing you can do right here is to double click on the circle this allow you to have a rotation pane next thing you can do is to go to window from window you have to go to dockers then you look for transform or you press hot key on your keyboard Alt key plus F7, you're going to see the option. So from the very point here, you have to make sure that at this point here, you choose this. And then uh, it's going to snap just like what you see right here. Once it's snapped, then for the rotate, make sure your rotate is active. And then for the point here, make sure you type in 15 angle. And then your copy should remain 24 and click on apply. So you're going to have something like this. Okay. So out of this point here, we need to fill some of the necessary area from this uh, shape. So for you to do that, you just have to press Ctrl plus to zoom out, Ctrl plus to zoom out. So this allows you to have a full fashion of what exactly you are doing. So next thing we can do here is to click and hold down here and make sure we choose Smart Fill. So we can fill from this point here, and this point, and this. So Ctrl minus, so for us to trace what we are uh, Once you're done filling everything, next thing you can do is to select all this point here, all this angle. Then you have to come down here and make sure you right click. This allows you to remove stroke from all the shape. Okay, so next thing you can do here is to select one of the shape. So having select one of the shape, you have to click and hold down from this point here and make sure you choose interactive fill. Having choose your interactive fill, make sure you choose fonting. Then from the very point here, you have to change the color from this angle here. Click on here. So this time around, you have to pick a color. So the color I use for this angle is cyan. So you have to select this one also. And uh, make sure you change the color. So the color I use for this one here is navy blue or deep blue. So having changed, get, get to this point, the next thing you need to do is to make sure you apply this particular color fill to the rest of the shape. So for you to do that, you just have to select all this point right here. And then you have to come down here also, make sure you choose your smart fill. This time around, you just have to select on copy fill and uh, pick on this color. So everything is going to be updated. Next thing you can do is to make sure you select all the bottom shape also. This way, select everything. Then you have to come down here also, choose your fonting and make sure you select your copy fill from this point here and copy the color here so you're going to have stuff like this so the next thing you can do is to go back to your pick tool and then you have to make sure you group the objects this time around then the next thing you can do is to select all the fourth shape that we group together and then this time around you have to make sure you group them also and press shift key and select the bottom shape and this time around you have to group all the objects so I've grouped everything. So this allow you to have a single shape just like what you see on the screen right here. So next thing you can do is to press Ctrl Z to get, take it back. All right. The next thing you can do here is to make sure you press Ctrl C to make a copy. Having make a copy, you can press Ctrl minus to zoom in. Next thing we can do is to select everything this way and make sure we press the delete key on our keyboard. Next thing we can do is to press Ctrl V to paste. So if you make a paste, then you have to double click on the shape. And this time around, you have to make sure that you select this bottom and then everything snap to the front. The next thing you need to do is to press Ctrl plus to zoom out. Ctrl plus, Ctrl plus to zoom out. Then you have to double click again to bring out the rotation pin. So this rotation pin here, you have to make sure that you snap it to the node right here. Have you snap it to the node, next thing you need to do is to make sure you come here and uh, make sure your rotate is still active. 
and then your angle still remain 15. Right here, make sure your copy still remain 24 and you click on apply. So you are going to have this stuff like this. So at this point here, you have to make sure you close your transform window. So having closed your transform window, then you have to press Ctrl minus to zoom in. Then finally, you can select all this particular shape right here and press Ctrl J to group. You can press Shift key and drag in. This allow you to recite your flower based on exactly your choice. Then you can press P to centralize. So finally, you can press Ctrl plus to zoom out, Ctrl plus to zoom out, then letter H to the move tools. Then you can drag the workspace into the center. You can press Ctrl minus so we'll be able to see what we are doing right here. So finally, you have to come here, double click on the page border to create a rectangle to create a page border. Then you have to fill it with a gray color. And then you have to come to your pointing. And then make sure you choose pointing from the transparent and finally you choose radial at this point here. So guys, this is how you can create this particular circle flower in Corel Draw step by step tutorial. I hope you guys find follow for this video. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a big top up and also remember to subscribe to this channel for more tutorial like this. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.